Hey, this is going to be an upload tutorial for our avatars and I'm going to run you through the entire process from the beginning, which is installing Unity slash the VRChat Creator Companion to importing the avatars and assets to the Unity scene and then finally how to upload them to your account. So I'm going to show you how to download all of these files. You're going to open your browser and you're going to go to the VRChat Creator Companion. You can just search for this and you're going to find the first link. It's going to redirect you to this site. And then there is the Creator Companion is available at. And you just click that link. It's going to load for a second. And then all you have to do is click this button to download the Creator Companion. I already have it downloaded, so I don't need that. All the other files, the avatar plus the shaders, are in the package that you bought on our websites, like Gumroad or Booth. And you will just download these in a zip file and extract them to wherever it's comfortable for you. So, now how to install the VRChat Creator Companion. The zip file you just downloaded, you can just double click it and it will basically download everything for you. I'm going to do install for all users. You can do install only for me, whatever your preference is. Just hit I accept and agree. Then press wherever you want it. Press next. Press next. It's going to download the Creator Companion. Now that the Creator Companion is downloaded, it will also start it up. Give it a second. So now it tells you requirements. It can actually install these for you. So all you have to do is press Install Hub and Unity. And now it's going to download everything for you. This is going to take quite a long time depending on how fast your internet is so just give it give it some time it is multiple gigabytes big i think around 10 i'm not sure though uh so it's gonna take a tiny bit for you to be done don't be confused i had to switch pc but after downloading the vrchat creator companion and installing it you will have the add and the new tab right here so click on new Click on avatar and just name this like the avatar and then what platform is like for so it's easy to recognize if you ever need to go back to it. Just hit create after choosing the location where it should be saved. Hit create. This is going to take a tiny second. After that is done, you can click open project right here. This will now open the Unity project that we are going to use for the avatar, already containing the VRChat SDK and everything else we need. The only things we will have to import are the files that you get when downloading the avatar, so the avatar package and the shaders. After the Unity package opened, you will be greeted with a Unity window that looks kind of like this. So what you want to do now is grab the PC, uh, the sorry, grab the shader pack that is included in the file of the avatar and drag it into the Unity scene down here where it says assets in this window. This is going to load a tiny bit and then going to give you a big list of stuff. Just click import. But the import is done, which you will know if this folder here appears, and you can press right click into here and move, then the import is done. Now you want to import the avatar package for PC, so also drag that in here. This is also going to give you a big list of stuff, just hit import again. After 
that that is done importing, which you will know if the Alexia folder appeared or whatever your avatar is called, and this open me file, double click the open me file. You will now see that an avatar appeared in the middle of the screen, and this will be the avatar that we're gonna upload. What you wanna do now is click up here and press show control panel. This will open up such a window where you have to log in. So let me do that real quick. After you're logged in, you will have a little account thing here that says logged in as, and if you're allowed to upload stuff, which you need to be at least a new user in VRChat 4. If you log in and your password and stuff is correct, and it still doesn't let you log in, you might have a little message down here the little red icon saying that you have a new login location and have to confirm an email that has been sent to your email account. Just confirm that and then press the login button again and you should be able to access everything. After that, you can press on the builder right here and it will, will already give you all the information, unpublished avatar and the file name. Don't worry about all the red things here. It's just VRChat's performance system, which we don't have to worry about at the moment. So all you want to do is, where it says online publishing, press the build and publish for Windows button. This is going to give you a little warning, just press yes. And this is going to tell you that the Pyomi shaders will lock in to be more optimized. Just press OK. As you might have noticed, this loads quite a long while, but don't worry, that is completely normal and might depend on your systems and could take longer or less time than you just saw. Now you are in this little window where you can give the avatar a name. I'm just going to call it Alexia 2.0 Tutorial. All you have to check is this little checkbox, and then you will see the upload button that you can then click. This is also going to take a while and depends mainly on your internet speed. You know that your upload was successful. If you can see this little window say, update complete, launch VR to see your uploaded content. Just press OK, and the PC version is done. Now we want to upload the Quest version of the avatar too. So head back to create a companion, press new, press avatar, and call this one Quest. So you know that this is the Quest version. Press create again, wait till it's done, and then just press open project. Now that this is loaded, you will have to go back to the zip file. And for this one, you only import the Quest version, nothing else. Just press import. And now you will see this, where you can just press open me again, double click it. And now you will have to log into the VRChat SDK panel again. After being logged in, you will have to press the Builder tab, but do not press Build and Publish this time. What you want to do is switch Build Target to Android. This is going to load for quite a while again, so don't worry, it's all good. Just press Confirm. After everything has loaded, which you will know if you are back in the authentication tab, press the builder tab 
and make sure this says switch build target to Windows. Then you are on the Android version, aka the Quest one. Now we don't want to hit online publishing yet, because otherwise we will upload the avatar just to Quest, but PC people won't be able to see it. So what you want to do is press on your content manager, which is not going to show a lot of stuff because you probably have this as your first avatar that you upload. So find your avatar, press copy ID. Now go back to the inspector. On the left side will be Alexia 2.0. Click on that. You will now have a lot of stuff in the right panel. Scroll down till you see the pipeline manager. This can be at the bottom or also at the very top. So make sure that you search for it. You will see that there's a blueprint ID, which says optional, but in our case, it isn't. Paste the previously copied avatar ID and press attach. You will now see that it's locked in and this is exactly what we want. If we now go back to the VRChat SDK panel, back to the builder tab, you will see that this says Alexia 2.0 tutorial, which is the name we gave the avatar beforehand. This will also say Windows support, yes, Android support, no. So what you now want to do is now press the build and publish for Android button. As you can see, the name and picture are already there. So just check this box and press upload. And that's all. As you can see, update complete. And this means the avatar has been uploaded successfully. After this, you're done. The avatar has been uploaded to your account and you will be able to use it in VRChat. So you can close Unity and enjoy her now. Thank you for watching and I hope this helped.